Recently, it's been tough for everyone who uses a car. Gas prices keep soaring because of inflation. Now you got this war between Ukraine and Russia, which I've discussed a while back. It's been months since prices went up and we're still experiencing its effects. And we expect that this will continue to do so. Back in March, California's gas price almost reached $6. And now it's gone beyond that. Right now, as I'm recording this video, it's over $6. But hold your horses, should I say seats. Before you decide to sell your car, listen to this because I'm about to tell you how to save a bit of cash for a few extra gallons. When gas prices rise, other commodities are affected as well, right? So it's necessary to try and save as much as possible to keep in your savings. The first thing you might wanna try is getting credit cards that are specific to gas rewards. Some of the companies offer cash back up to $25 if you consistently use their cards. Rebates vary from company to company. Some offer 3%, some offer as high as 5%. So check your bank to see what they provide for gas reward credit cards. Gotta get gas anyway, right? And not only will you save a couple of bucks, but you'll also end up building a better credit score as long as you keep paying your credit card bills. So whatever savings you do get, you can allot it to other essential expenses. Nowadays, there's an app for everything. If you wanna count how many steps in your home, there's probably an app for that too. There's actually an app that tells you where you parked your car if you're one of those people who often forget. So don't be surprised if you find out there are apps that inform you of the gas stations that offer the lowest gas prices near you. You can check Gas Buddy, Gas Guru, or AAA and see what works for you. All of these apps also update you on the average gas price. Aside from updating you about stressful gas prices, some of these apps offer a reward card and gives you as as much as 25 cents rebate per gallon. That's always a welcome addition for someone who's looking to save money. If you're the type that drives the same road and the same route each and every day, and you happen to frequent a specific gas station, try asking them to see if they offer a customer loyalty program. Because some gas stations even offer extra savings each time you go out and buy things like small grocery items. You can also try doing the same tactic and going to other gas stations and asking them for their royalty rewards. And it would be nice to have different loyalty programs if you can't go to your favorite spot or you happen to be at another part of town. If that happens, at least you'll be able to stack up rewards and use them in the future. Not all royalty and loyalty cards are the same, so look around a little bit. If you can no longer afford your usual premium gas fuel because of the current state of gas prices, you can always use regular gas. But first, check your car's manual to see if it can accommodate or only requires premium, then you're stuck. If your car requires premium gas, then your car's engine will perform poorly. But if your manual recommends regular, you'll barely see any benefits of using premium. In fact, we Americans are known for wasting billions of dollars on premium gas when our cars don't actually need it. There is no shame in using lower end gas to save money. In times like these, you'll need to find ways to save money and use them for more important things like food and rent and savings. Here are some other small tips that you can utilize to save money at the pump. If you're someone who is pedal to the metal type of person, every time that light turns green, you're the first car, so you're so competitive, you squeal your tires all the time and you abruptly stop at each stop sign, maybe you need to change some of your driving tactics and reconsider your driving skills because driving unnecessarily fast can actually cost you about 30 cents more per gallon sometimes. Also, try to avoid leaving your car on idle. So you're at the store, then you get into a cell phone call and a half an hour goes by. This can cost you an extra quarter to a half gallon of wasted fuel. It's about three cents for every minute you spend idling. The other thing you could do is to avoid putting heavy things in your car. Studies have shown that for every 100 pounds added to a vehicle, that can cost you three cents per gallon since your engine will need more fuel to carry heavier baggage or passengers. So, okay, quick break. So some exciting news I wanna share with you. You can go ahead and sign up for our monthly newsletter and also get a free ebook that will guide you in your journey towards financial freedom. Now, choose to sign up to be on this premium list and get other books that will get you more advanced financial strategies. Go ahead and click on the link below. If you're enjoying this content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. I'll bring you more content like this each and every week. And also go ahead and turn on that notification so you know when the next video is coming out. And if you choose our premium list, you'll get an additional book containing advanced financial strategies along with your free book.